Well, she was shy. Um, Emma, as you see, you see her evolution. You see her she's, when she first meets Joe Carroll. She's 15, 16 years old. She's a child, and she's very broken um, from this abusive family relationship. And through finding him and falling in love with him in every possible way, he becomes a father, he becomes the man she loves, he becomes God to her. She finds her ground and her focus in her life. And so, you know, people tell me she's dark, she's a monster, she's scary. And my heart breaks for her, honestly. I, I, I think of her as someone who is just utterly devoted and devoted to this man to whom, you know, she's essentially a pawn. But everything she does, every dark act comes from love. She's not bloodthirsty. You know, some of the cult members, some of the killers, I think, would have been serial killers anyway, and he does give them a safe space to do that. She's not that. She wouldn't necessarily be killing people, except that's what he wants her to do, and she's very pragmatic and has no problem doing it. She's callous, but she's not bloodthirsty, if that makes sense. Mm. Joey? Uh, yeah, absolutely, she cares about him. Um, she never lies. Everything is true. It's just her truth changes from one moment to the next. Um, it's, it's, she's very adaptable that way. She's whatever she needs to be in any given circumstance. But she loves Joey. She's um, been Joey's nanny for years, and she's helped raise him. And also, he's so important to her because he's Joe's son. And I, I mean, she fancies herself a mother to him as well and would love to sort of slide in that role. <laughs> Kind of creepy, but he yeah, see, you keep being scared of things I'm saying. I'm like, what? She just wants to love. <laughs> Some people just get in the way, and she has to kill them. So, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, she is. Um, she is capable of absolutely anything, and she contains a multitude of personalities within herself. And it was tempting for me as an actor early on to look at her as being manipulative. And I don't think that's true. It's what I said before. Every moment's true. It's just the truth changes from one moment to the next, you know? She loves Jacob. She loves Paul. She loves Joey. She loves Joe. But ultimately, the only thing that matters is Joe. And that trumps everything else. Right. Everybody's talking about it's just a little shared shower, you know? It's not that explicit. <laughs> and it's, um, it's an important moment for those three. They've been living together and it's been very tense and obviously Emma is in charge but she's having a hard time controlling Paul and that is the first moment of real honesty and real vulnerability especially between Emma and Paul and then this idea that they can both love Jacob and that's okay and that they can maybe by both loving him and stopping fighting they can support him and and bring him into the fold because he's been feeling very judged and very pressured up until then. So it's really, it's all about love, like I said. <laughs> and of course, you know, it helps that there's, there's a lot of sexual chemistry between them. And she uses that. It's an effective, it's an effective way to deal with them. <laughs> um, in terms of research and things, um, you know, the, the way that I work, it wasn't, uh, my research wasn't so much about um, looking into, you know, Jonestown. Um, I did focus on Sweeky Fromm, one of the Manson girls. She informed my character a lot. That's really where I struck the center of her in terms of everything being about love. But for me, what I expose myself to are the elements that Emma would expose herself to. So she's this bookworm, and Joe uses Gothic romanticism. So I read a lot of Poe. I grew up with Poe. My dad actually used to read me that as a bedtime story. My mom hated it. I'll get nightmares. Um, my favorite was the Black Cat. But um, but rereading Poe, and um, you know, I used a lot of Shakespeare, Macbeth, Lady Macbeth, having to do things that are gruesome for love and poetry, Emily Dickinson. So that's, that's what I immerse myself in.